Good evening, it's me, Kimberly. I am here with my Sunday haul from Amazon and Michaels. I found some really good stuff. I had some really good coupons. Sorry for moving the chair around. My um, <clears throat> tripod is actually sitting on my chair, facing my desk, and I'm standing by the side of it. So, I had a 50% off coupon that I that Michaels actually had, I'm sorry. And the first thing I bought was this thing right here. This is the Windsor and Newton Cotman. It's a student green watercolor set. Comes with 12 primary colors. Um, it's originally $29.99 and half off, I paid $15 plus tax, which was cheaper than getting it through Amazon. Now, my second little buddy is this book right here. This was also from Amazon, I mean, from Michaels, my bad. This one is, uh, let me turn it a little bit, I'm sorry. This is the Dilutions Creative Journal. Uh, the company is rangerinc.com and it is by Dion, Really, I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but what I liked about this book is first the cover. It's a cart, it's a very heavy cover. It has this thing here to close it this way. Inside, you will notice that it's like a book. On one page, it has an envelope to hold some supplies, and then on this side is the book. It has this binding here. So when you open it, these pages are awesome. They're like cardstock. They feel like the um, manila envelope papers, that thick hospital folder type of paper that you get when you have your medical records in them or the kind that you have in offices. So this book, what I liked about it, according to um, the picture, or rather, let me rephrase this, I'm sorry, hold on, let's go this way, here we go, or not, I think, you yeah, know, let's just leave it as the way I had it. Uh, it's for mixed media, basically, it tells you that you can use the dilution ink spray techniques using water, inks, paints, and other mediums. The journal cover is made from a sturdy card uh, chipboard. Contains 64 unlined pages for endless creativity. Perfect for creative art journaling. Um, also contains durable mixed media card stock for wet or dry applications. So basically, I can use my stamps, I can use watercolor paints, I can use acrylics even, I can use a whole multitude of things including watercolor brush markers, you name it, it'll work. Now, this is my Amazon haul. I ordered some books from Amazon and they came in today. I'm waiting for one more to come, but I'll just do a review on that book on its own. So. Let's take the box out. The first thing I got was Mermaids in Wonderland, the postcards. I also got the bigger coloring book for it. I also picked up the second book from Jenny Luan, which is the Chibi Doodle Whimsy Characters. And then I picked up three coloring books from Bennett Klein. The first one is Dragons. The second one is the Steampunk, or the Steam, whichever one you want to call it. And then the third one was this one, Mythic. Now, this book here, How to Color Like an Artist. I haven't seen any reviews on it, and I just got it, so more than likely, I'm going to do a video on this book, 
There's two other books. Um, I actually have one, which is in this envelope. Which is this one. I'm sure everyone has seen this book, Colorworks. And then there's another one um, that another lady does that I ordered, which is the one that's coming on Tuesday. So when that book comes, I'm going to do all three books together as a series of, of, of videos. So that way we can go through every single one together. Okay? And the only other item that is in my bag is dun, 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 dun. I finally took the plunge and got a Tagal sharpener to add to my collection of many 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 sharpeners like I needed them anyways so that concludes my haul for tonight uh, if you want me to do any reviews on any of the coloring books that I've purchased please feel free to let me know and I will definitely put it on my to-do list. Okay, thank you and have a good night.